press the bell icon on the YouTube app and watch our new videos. For me, the bigger thing about being a leader is overall, how do you build a team where you really have some sort of shared respect? That I think is actually what really drives an engaged and motivated team. We are a family business. My father, who is a majority shareholder, has entrusted me with this task. And he's a very modern man and he never had any stereotypes about men or women. But back in university, I remember women who were confident, ambitious and aggressive was not seen as a virtue for women the way it was for men. I don't think that anyone inside VIP industries would refer to me as a female MD. The only place I've perhaps heard it would be in fact in the media. Sometimes I get the tag of female CEO. I think there must be occasions where that a male subordinate may find it difficult to take uh, instruction from a female boss. I mean, I think it is the history, the socio-economic history of our world. Patriarchy is very strong. If one has an opportunity to really pursue some sort of economic self-sufficiency, then women will be helping the next generation to come ahead. So in some senses, I've been very lucky. I was given this position to me by my father. So he always believed that one day I could run his business. I think the risks are high and finding capital is difficult. So with respect to entrepreneurship specifically, I think it's hard no matter if you're a man or a woman.